Hello guys, welcome back to another scratch tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to make reverse gravity in scratch. So basically how we're going to do this is make a simple platformer, but if we press R on the keyboard, then the gravity will go upwards, reverse gravity. Normal gravity will go down, but reverse gravity will go up. Okay, so without further ado, let's get coding. Okay, so in the place right, we have a bunch of costumes here. But this is just from my online multiplayer scrolling platformer game, which you can find in the channel. I'll have a link to the assets down below. So this is the idols animation. This is right, when you're moving right, moving left jumping jumping to the right and jumping to the left and this is reversed idle this is when we're at here then this is moving wait this is moving right um reversed this is left reversed this is jumping but we're going like there and you get it okay and in the platforms right we have something simple but we cannot find a way to go here so we'll just use reverse gravity to get up there okay so without further ado let's get going okay so we have four variables here we have jump reverse gravity speed x and speed y all of them are full this sprite only okay so let's start one green flag clicked we're gonna make our platformer first we'll set speed x speed y and reverse gravity to zero we will position our player to zero zero and now forever loop we'll make a new block naming it movement run without screen refresh put it there to find movement it's gonna be basic we're going to switch our costume to 1a which is our idle animation we're gonna make it a simple platformer first and then we'll do the reverse gravity okay so now if we put in an or key right arrow or our D key is pressed then we'll switch costume to 2A and we'll change our speed X by 1.2 that's what I found the best duplicate that put in an if left arrow or the A key is pressed then we'll switch costume to 3a, change x by negative 1.2 and we'll change our x by speed x and we'll also set our speed x times 0 0.8 okay so now we'll make the collision so if we are touching platform then repeat eight times we will change y by one and then if not touching platform then we'll stop this script and then right under that we'll put in change y by negative 8 the same number you put right here but negative okay and now we can put in our repeat until not touching platforms put in if else our speed x is more than 0 then we'll change our x by negative 1 else we'll change our x by 1 and we will set our speed 
x to 0 right here. So let's test that. And yeah, we collide better. Left, right, everything's working. Okay, so now let's make the jumping, gravity, and all the y axis stuff. So first we'll put in an if key up arrow pressed or our w key pressed then we will switch costume to 4a which is our jumping and we'll put in an if right to arrow or d key pressed and it's it means that we are holding the up arrow and the right arrow at the same time then we're going to switch costume to 5a which is uh, top right and then duplicate that put in left arrow or a key pressed then we'll put in 6a okay after that we'll put in an if our jump variable is 1 means we can jump then we'll set speed y to 16 perhaps and we can put in our gravity now change speed y by negative 1.5 we'll set our jump to 0 and we'll change our y by speed y we'll duplicate this script we'll remove this and remove the repeat stuff put it below here Makes it much easier. Oh, remove this too. Okay, change all of these to Y. Change Y by, change Y by. Set speed Y to 0. And we'll set our jump to 1 right here. And I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, I think. Yep, that's it for the platforming stuff. Pretty fast, but I hope you can understand it. It's based on Griff Patches one but I edit it it a bit. Okay, so now let's do the fun part which is reverse gravity. So first we need a way to toggle the reverse gravity. So when green flag clicked we'll put in a forever loop. If the R key is pressed Then we'll put in an if else block. The reverse gravity is zero. Then we'll set our reverse gravity to one. Else we'll set our reverse gravity to zero. And after that, we'll wait two seconds. Okay, so let's show our reverse gravity. If we press R, it changes to one. And after two seconds, It'll change back to zero. Nice. Um, there is a problem though. You have to do this. You'll put in a change y by 10. And change y by negative 10 right here. Just to avoid glitches like being stuck here. Um, sometimes I run, run into these. So if I flip the costume it will be stuck in here and it will lag. So we'll move it a bit up and then it will fly okay um so that's for the reverse gravity now let's modify the platforming strip so it can really feel like we're reversing our gravity okay so let's move this out of the way first we'll put in an if else put it right here our reverse gravity is zero then we'll switch costume to 2a else it's 2a2 please use the um asset in the link so you can copy this and 2a reversed is 2a2 which is this so the two in the back is just for the reversed and we'll put our change speed x back right there and put in if else reverse gravity equals zero 
Switch costume to 3A, else 3A2. Okay. So now that's done. Now we can change this here. So if else, put in an if else there. Reverse gravity equals zero, then we'll change y by one. Else we'll change y by negative one. And we'll put in an if not touching platforms. And in here, we'll do the same thing here. If else, reverse gravity is more than zero, is, is zero. Else we'll change y by one. Thank you. I will put it back here. Okay, just like that. Um, okay. So now, the speed axe is, has no problems here, just for these ones. Okay, so we'll put in an if else, our reverse gravity is zero. Then we'll switch costume to 4a else to 4a2. And we'll do the same thing to the others. For the right arrow, we'll put in 5a, 5a, else 5a2. Get that. Put in 6a and 6a2. Put it. I don't want it right here. Yeah. And in the jump, we'll also do some modifications. If reverse gravity is 0, speed y 16, else negative 16. And of course here, we'll do the same thing. Else we'll change speed y by 1.5. And lastly, in here, we'll do an if our reverse gravity equals 0, set jump to 1. And in here reverse gravity is 1 then we'll set jump to 1 okay so let's oh one last thing the idle animation um, we'll do the same thing here else 1a2 okay so I hope you got that um, let's test this first hide the reverse gravity um, Okay, everything's normal, press R, and yeah, we have it working like a charm. Okay, so if you don't understand, please comment here. Okay, so let's do one final test. I'm here moving around in normal platformer. I want to go here, so I press the R key. And boom, I'm here. And then you go under, and boom, I'm here. Very satisfying to have in your games. It's not only platformers you need to have these. You can also use use it on runner games, maybe. I don't know. Um, okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like, comment share and subscribe and i will see you in the next videos bye